breaking news right now, and we want to head over to where the investigation of a Manassas Park mom is still ongoing. Yeah, we're going to go to police headquarters, right? And let's listen in to this news conference. They provide a statement of what events hatched and what led up to the events of today. Um, the Manassas Park Police Department would like to start by expressing our admiration for the outpouring of compassion from the community and Monta's, on Monta's behalf. We would also like to extend our appreciation to those in the community, both in the United States and Nepal, for their efforts and their outcry at this time, uh, who have dedicated their time, volunteered their efforts. While I acknowledge that the respect, the, uh, excuse me, while I acknowledge and respect the public's concerns for answer, I assure each of you that although these answers are limited by this continuing to be an active investigations and process, this investigation remains a top priority for the police department and our agency. Um, and our agency remains committed to providing details as we are able. With that being said, I would like to share the following information. To this point in the investigation, our investigators have executed over 10 search warrants and conducted hundreds of interviews related to this case. This includes the search warrant that we, ex we executed this evening that you are aware of at his residence. My staff continues to work tirelessly and follow up every lead which we have received hundreds of leads on this case. Additionally, I would like to encourage the community to continue providing any and all information that might assist us with this investigation and to take this opportunity to take our local, state, and federal partners who continue to support us in this investigation. This investigation is ongoing, it's still active, and we're making progress. Once we have information that we can provide to the community, we will do that. We have had several meetings with community leaders from the Nepali community, and we will continue to have those on a weekly basis or daily basis. I know the media and, and the um, community wants answers, but at this point, I'm not able to answer certain questions, and that's why I'm providing this statement. I want to thank everybody for coming out, for continuing to keep this case in the spotlight, and we will continue to investigate this investigation. Thank you. Okay, look, look, the search warrant is going to take another three to four hours to complete. When I get the information, I will provide that. My, my goal is that once I have that information, I will provide it to the community of what was located. Three to four hours before they're done. Okay? But I'm not sure if I'm going to have the full answers. We have asked outside jurisdictions to help us with the forensics on this. So we got to wait for them to provide us the answers. I was hoping, I don't know when they are going to have the report to me, but I got to wait for them to tell me when. If they're going to do it tonight, I don't know. So, I'm not, can't answer that right now, sir. He is a person of interest. Yes. He's been a point of interest, and everybody knows that. As of, I don't have the dates in front of me. But yet again, as soon as I have more information, my goal is to, at the latest tomorrow, is to provide a statement of what was, re, um, if we can disclose anything from the search warrant tomorrow. Okay? Thank you.